This video is supported by Chip Drop, and what better way than to tell you about Chip Drop than to do it from a site where I've just dropped some chip. So Chip Drop, which is getchipdrop.com, is a website. It's very, very simple. You basically look on a map view of your local area. You see the little pinpoints of the uh, drop sites, mostly residential drop sites. You read the description. Um, if it's something that you want to drop at and it's close by, then you click to confirm the drop site. Go drop the chip, simple as that. Um, and the best thing about chip drop is that even if you have like a local dump where you uh, can dump for free, Sometimes that can be an hour drive from your job site and sometimes you might fill up the truck more than once during the day. And if you use Chip Drop to, to have a quick look if there's a local site nearby or somewhere closer than your regular dump site, it can save you uh, you know, a 45 minute drive there, 45 minute drive back. And as I say, time is money. So um, Chip Drop can be really convenient. So go to getchipdrop.com um, and give it a try if you've not tried it before it is so 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 useful um, so try getchipdrop.com hello and welcome to climbingarbus.com so in this video i'm going to talk about climbing kit storage and i'm going to give you my recommendations on what i look for when it comes to my climbing gear my ropes uh, harnesses hardware all that kind of stuff so um I'm gonna talk about big gear bags for carrying all of your kit. And I'm gonna talk about all the different bags that I have that I've acquired over time. Um, the, the best ones, the, the ones that haven't really stood up to the test of time, what makes a good bag, what makes a bad bag, all in my opinion. So I'm gonna talk about all these gear bags. Okay, so what do I look for in my rope storage or equipment storage in general? So I want something that um, keeps all my gear organized. I want something, so something like this big backpack bag. This pretty much takes all of like a full set of climbing gear that you would use on a daily basis. You get a 200 foot rope in there. You get uh, your harness, lanyard, you know, friction hitches, um, friction saver, all that kind of stuff. It's got all these loops on the outside for clipping, you know, loose carabiners or for, for storing stuff on the outside. You've got little pockets. I, when I use this bag, I'll slide the handsaw in there and then clip it on so I don't lose it. But then it keeps it on the outside of the bag, easily accessible. Got a zip pocket. Um, so that's what I look for for a really good, um, you know, full equipment gear bag. Um, and then, when I'm, when we're just talking about rope bags, what I found over time is for, like you know from from years and years of doing this job, is that you get a cheapy bag like this, like it goes all floppy, it doesn't stand up, um, just because the made the way it's made, it's made really cheaply, uh, cheap material. It's not you know it's it's supposed to be a budget option, but as a rope bag you need it to stand up of its own accord you need it to be rigid to keep its shape so you can just easily feed the rope in like i don't understand the point in having a rope bag that's just so floppy that you know you have to keep like leaving it open all the time um so i would always say i mean as as the saying goes you buy cheap you buy twice and that's definitely the case with rope bags um, there's always a cheap option but they're cheap for a reason this husky bag which the husqvarna just came out with a range of arborist products recently um, a lot of them that you know they've are being made by other people and just rebranded at husqvarna's range and it's all quite you know basic stuff like 16 strand rope basic carabiners but these rope bags probably the the most impressive of the entire arborist range like because i'm not i haven't seen ones like this like the exact same design um and it's it's really nice and rigid really like tough durable material really well stitched it has got a couple of you know a few gear loops on the outside although this um 
this material, this like webbing is so thick that these gear, these loops are actually pretty wide. So when it comes to clipping in carabiners and stuff, you know, they gotta be big carabiners. You can't be clipping small, like little accessory carabiners. So that's the one downside. But other than that, like these handles have got this extra piece of material to keep them nice and rigid and um, so that's what I look for in gear bag. I don't want a waterproof rope bag because uh, if your rope's going to get wet, it's going to get wet. But if you put it back in a waterproof bag and then seal it up, it just kind of like uh, just goes all moldy and festers in the bag and then you open it and it stinks and like, like I'd rather have a non-waterproof bag and even if the rope sits in that, it's it, it, at least it's not like holding all the moisture in. I mean, I, I always like, if I have a wet rope, I'll get it out and, and hang it up to dry. But you know, there's times when you just leave the rope in and the waterproof bags are the worst for that. Okay, so I'll start with the ones that I really dislike at first. Um, this cheap green one, this one was, they're being made by by somebody for tree stuff. And I think they're mainly done as a giveaway for like climbing competitions and stuff just to get the tree stuff brand out there they give a lot of these away and they're so they're so cheap and then you know it's a it's a good idea but as a rope bag it's absolutely useless so it's so floppy so thin flimsy you know the all the stitchings coming out um you know there's there is nothing good about that apart from if you win one <laughs> at a competition then it's good for putting some gear in I suppose but um, it's not gonna last long so don't buy one of those um, next one up I, th I think uh, well no I'm not even gonna say who I think it this is by because it doesn't say and I don't want to get it wrong um, this this is just another budget rope bag um, it's a little thicker than that tree stuff on the material but look just after a you know, probably, I don't know, a year or two years use, the stitching starting to come apart. Like this one is not, it's not thick enough material that it that it stands up well. You know, it will stand up a bit, but as soon as you start f feeding rope in and like knocking the sides, it all starts collapsing. Um, another cheap rope bag. So that is a no-no for me anyway. Uh, all right, I'll go to this. Like, so I said I don't like waterproof rope bags. Um, I got this one from the NZ Arb conference that I went to in 2018. Every single attendee got one of these gear bags. Um, so I don't really ever use this, the, but they are, they are useful as a bag because these have backpack straps and it's a small bag. Um, so if, if for whatever reason you're doing a job and you need a small bag to take up into the tree, um, maybe if you're doing some, some cabling or something and you just need to put a bunch of stuff in there and you can take up, it's actually a nice small bag with backpack straps. Uh, apart from that, I don't really use this one um, because like I said, it's waterproof. So I don't like keeping ropes in waterproof bags and it's got this one front pocket but it doesn't have like gear loops or anything um, and I mean that is because it's not designed as a rope bag or an arborist kit bag so um, so they're useful but I wouldn't I would definitely buy something else if you were only going to buy like one or two rope bags um, this is just because I was given it so um, so it does come in useful from time to time but not often all right, so then uh, we'll go to the other end of the spectrum, a very, very expensive rope bag, like for, for the size. Um, but as with a lot of kind of Teffelberger ideas, products, you know, things like, uh, things that might have involved the tree imagineers, I'm not sure if this was, but it's, seems like it was they use a lot of the same materials that they use on the tree motion um, and it's very customizable like so they have yeah they have the same material that they use on the tree motion 
they, they supply you with this um, like good real good cordage and there's all these different size holes so you can customize it basically uh, however you desire for whatever purposes um, they got that same cordage for the drawstring so this this rope bag is good for, I mean you could you could get a 200 foot line in here I think if the if the top was was kind of stood up or if you wanted it flat you're probably looking at a 150 150 foot rope um, the only thing I found with this rope which I, I don't know why this hasn't happened with other other rope bags with drawstrings but this one as your ropes feeding out it's got caught a, a, quite a few times on on this and I don't know if that was just just by chance and it's by chance that it hasn't happened on any other rope bag but this one for whatever reason has caught a couple of times um, it's got these big thick rope handles which are good um, I won this competition uh, bag at a competition but I I think for the price I would buy some like one of the other rope bags that I have that's cheaper and that I actually prefer for various reasons um, this one is absolutely bomb proof though if you you know if you if you don't take care of your stuff or if you're slinging this in and out of a truck and it's getting bashed about and um, there's other people using gear in your same truck and they're not taking care of your equipment and they're moving it about then this is actually a really good bag for for getting thrown around by people that don't care about your stuff because um, you are never gonna break this thing it's not like and because of the material it's made out of it's not it's not like the stitching is gonna come apart like on other rope bags um, it's just it, this is made for life so um, if you if you need super 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 durable then this one's probably for you um, but like I say, I'd probably buy something else that was cheaper. One of the other bags I'm going to talk about. So, but really good bag, little on the pricey side. Now this uh, might take you by surprise, but I actually really like this bag. It's a, it's a little weaver rope bag. I've had, I've had this for geez like it's probably five six years now um so it's actually and to say it's the material itself is actually quite thin it's stood up surprisingly well it's just, just starting to create some little holes in the material um but this is great and the reason it's great is because it it's spring loaded and so it keeps that 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 round cylinder shape so it's really nice and easy for feeding your rope back in um, also if you squish it down it has these little clips on either side so you can clip it and, and basically clip it flat oh didn't get that one in and then you can like tighten them down so that's a that's a pretty cool little design just for storage and it's got this other this little clip on it as well which um, you might not use for anything but there might be a, a bunch of stuff that you'd like to use it for just clipping one or two little little objects on the outside maybe you, you clip a little throw bag on the outside what I would like to do um, if I was using this for a rope bag with my zigzag on um, a, a cool little trick that you might have seen in another video of mine that I saw at the Petzl Symposium where Ryan Torchicola showed us this trick. He he put like a basic little micro pulley and uh, like above the zigzag and as he's pulling his rope into the tree the micro pulley is collapsing the zigzag and so with the position of that little clip it would actually be ideal for having that little micro pulley on there so you could just leave it on permanently um, and another thing that i use this rope bag for all the time pretty much exclusively this one is when i do cat rescues because it keeps it that perfect cylinder shape it's so easy to put put a cat in there and then cinch it up um, so 
that is thumbs up on that rope bag from me oh yeah just going back to the Tefl burger bag um, it's actually quite hard to, to to get this cinched right down just because of the thickness and durability of the, the material so if you need to cinch your bag right up aka for a cat rescue this one is not ideal so then we've got the Petzl rope bucket uh, written my name on it <laughs> this is 25 litre bag uh, I got this given at the Petzl Arborist Symposium that I went to in Salt Lake City um, this one is pretty basic rope bag it's got a it's got a pocket on the front um, the material is actually pretty durable uh, the only thing about this one is that it has it's like a waterproof kind of material inside so even though the, the bag itself as a whole is not waterproof because you got the the upper portion that's not waterproof and um, it does it will keep the moisture in a little more like I was saying so that's not ideal the good thing about it though is because of the material around the bottom especially has that waterproof like rubbery material for putting it down like on wet ground it's actually really good so that it doesn't all get soggy and soaking wet on the bottom so that's a plus um, you've got like a little loop inside so you can clip on like I said same before a little micro pulley or a few accessory carabiners that kind of stuff um, and you've also got an extra strap just you know you can use that for slinging over your shoulder that kind of stuff so um so this one is is an inexpensive rope bag and it keeps its shape like i was saying because of the durability of the material so this one's a good rope bag it's um simple rope bag but but it does, it does what you want it to do so that gets the thumbs up from me i use that one um this one i've had for a while as you can see it's been through the wars a bit this is a dmm transit 45 it's called so that's 45 liter so nearly twice as big as most of those other rope bags um you got a bunch of pockets you, you got this clear see-through piece that, that is good for you know keeping some paperwork if you need to do that or uh, like your name tag or uh, instruction manuals for gear any, any of that kind of stuff you, it's got a bunch of little gear loops all the way down here all the way down here so good for storing carabiners and, and tools on the outside um, it's like it's made from like a rubbery material so same thing as I was saying as that Petzl bag it's it's pretty good for putting down on like wet soggy damp ground because it's not going to soak through um, because this one is bigger it means that you can get in like a 200 foot rope and then you can get a bunch of extra stuff in as well and um, um, even you could if you carry like a minimal kit you could probably get you know a 150 line a harness a lanyard like basic stuff in here so it's pretty good if you want a bag for that and it does have backpack straps on it so you can wear it on your back the only thing is with this because it's like um, it's trying to be like a, a bigger rope bag but not a full size backpack style rope bag the these straps that they've put on the side are a bit half-hearted and they really do cut into your shoulders uh, if there's any weight in here so unless you're just carrying this from the truck to the to like a rear garden where you're working using this as a backpack is not fun and it's not comfortable there's not much adjustment on these straps so uh, I mean it's good that they put them on for a for the option to use it but it's not comfortable so and these are, I think these are a little more pricey as far as rope bags go so 
this isn't one that I use that often because it's because it's like you know nearly twice as big as your regular rope bag. Um, I don't really, f I, you know, I don't want to put like two or three ropes in here because it would be so heavy and that's that's almost like a little pointless. So I don't often use this bag. So I suppose if I don't use it, then I'm not recommending it. Um, it's a decent bag, but I, I wouldn't go out and buy this over some of the others. So there you go. Um, right, and we're getting down to some of my favorites. So. Like I said earlier, this Husqvarna rope bag, which they're quite new, cut maybe a one or two years on the market from Husqvarna. I really like these bags. I've got like four of them, um, and they're wicked. They're they seem. Let me just grab this one. They're they're a bit bigger than your standard size rope bag, so you e easily get a 200 foot line, like an 11.7 mil in there. Um, like I say, it's got these gear loops on the outside, which are a little bit thick and wide for accessory carabiners. So these are more like for like full size carabiners, um, or if you tie in cordage or something on there. But they're not they're not ideal little gear loops. But it's because they've used such thick webbing like to make the bag, which obviously that. That's the reason it makes the bag so good, and it stays stays open, keeps its shape, and then you can also like fold it down quite quite a lot. So this is this is an awesome rope bag, and they're not too expensive. It's got a really durable base, really thick stitching around the bottom. So that I definitely would recommend if you want a rope bag. Um, yeah, that's wicked. And then <coughs> comes to the big boy. Uh, this Buckingham. Uh, I'm not actually sure what the proper name of this bag is, but Buckingham. That's probably all you need to know to search for this on your favourite arborist store. Um, so you you buy the bag and then uh, they they sell these backpack straps as an extra but they're they're pretty cheap this bag on the whole is is cheap compared to like say if you're looking at rock climbing bags or mountaineering bags some of those can be pretty pricey especially if they're all fancy and jazzy and like this is almost like you know a very basic bag but it does absolutely everything you want from a, a climbing kit bag it's got all the storage points um, so you've got you've got a zip pocket on here that's decent size pack a bunch of stuff in there you got a, an elasticated pocket on here no zip you got another just open pocket there with no zip you got three gear loops you got a big handle for moving it around easy just like grabbing it picking it up you got a gear loop there you got gear loops all the way around the top of this bag then you got a lid um, it says rope on the top and it's got it like it looks pretty cool but I've never used this once because if you think you got stop or not on the end of your rope bag that's not going to go through there so unless you want your stop or not to be a stop or not of a huge bag then then go for it but um, seems pretty pointless but looks cool and then it actually has these little vents as well uh, which is a pretty good idea so I I unzip these and have them permanently like velcroed back so that you get a little ventilation in the bag um, and it's got a bunch of like, it's got some some real little features that you don't think of like this these these little popper buttons so you can actually you know fold it round and and it kind of packs together but as you can see this bag really stays open keeps its shape so like feeding a rope in there is an absolute dream um, I I used one of these as my main 
entire climbing kit bag for I think what are we now 2020 uh, like five or six years um, I, I, I fit a 200 foot rope in here which comes to maybe there I then put like my lanyard in my friction saver my hitches my webbing slings or different accessories that I'll need then I put um, then I slide my throw cubes down like two throw cubes in there then I put my harness in folded up tree motion harness and and then any other like loose little bits and it all fit in there so and because you've got the backpack straps it's just easy to transport easy to carry around I've got this big huge kind of hold all bag and I just use this to keep a load of stuff uh, I've got like a little tool bag in there I've got I always have like waterproofs so jacket um, trousers I've got my spurs in there I've got another hand saw I've, I've even got like a few spare batteries for the Husqvarna range that I've got I've got some loppers got a big shot head I got some binoculars I got Stanfield jumper. If you're not Canadian, you probably won't know what that is, but it's amazing. Um, I got some Arbor tie. Got a spare chainsaw lanyard. Got tape measure. Got a blood stopper. Go. List goes on and on. So um, yeah, I mean this bag is is quite heavy, and I don't often you I don't often really take this out of the truck. I just open it up and grab the pieces out that I need because I don't want to be hauling this around and about with me all over the place but it's usually like stuff that I'm not using permanently so um, if you've got the space then you want to use one of these so that's what I used for uh, yeah like the last five six years until until I found these Bobby Dazzlers so I wasn't I, I think I um, I'd had an idea of creating like uh, storage for my rigging equipment and making it all nice and organized and so the hardware wasn't bashing around and to keep all the slings together and to keep all the rigging carabiners together and the hardware and stuff and I saw these and they're on sale in Home Depot or Home Depot for the English audience um, and I was like man that like that could actually work yeah so and because they're on sale it kind of I was like yeah this is it's worth a try uh, I, I don't actually remember how much it was now maybe it's less than two hundred dollars for the whole stack and it's on it's on wheels and it all stacks together and then you'll see it um, hang on. I'll wheel it round so you, you just push the little button up and it slides off There you go so I got these and I was just gonna try it out I thought you know I'll try it if it's not worth it then I'll use it to store some other tools not associated with tree climbing um, but the beauty of these is they come with like they come with all these little like pockets and it's just so good for keeping your gear organized so in here this is the top one with the, the clear screen I've got pulleys I've got accessory carabiners um, you know I've got the tandem zip line pulley I've got my trigger for my big shot I've got a bunch of like pinto pulleys and micro traction I've got chest ascenders I've got Taz oh uh, I've got the like 
the, those roll clip and the revolver. I've got some webbing slings. I've got some safety glasses. I, like, and it's and a lot of that stuff I don't use like day to day. So, but it all stays there nice and neat. And so, especially if like my my ground crew, if I need something and I'm like, oh, I just need you to go and grab, you know, like a the Pinto rig pulley or or anything or like figure of eight or anything they can just open that up and it's all there they can easily see it so then this is the the second smallest box um, this one I've got like a the small ISC rigging pulley I've got my chicane I've got a spare lanyard I've got I've got this little six mil retrieval line that I use uh, for it for retrieving my climb line I've got um, the little rigging hub I got some more webbing slings so now because I've got this I'm carrying pretty much all the gear that I could possibly want whenever I'm climbing because it's so easy I mean I, I have the space in my truck to carry this all this unit and um, because it's on wheels it's easy to move around like so it's kind of a bit of a no-brainer really um, and what I did so these are watertight um, which like I was saying is not ideal for like for climbing gear because if moisture gets in it doesn't escape so what I did is on all of these I drilled uh, little holes all the way along like underneath so they're underly underneath the lip so if it does rain it's not gonna the water's not gonna get in but the air can get out and it you know it still it still does get keep a bit of moisture in there but at least there's some kind of airflow um, this is the second to largest box this is the one that I keep all my all my climbing gear in I keep my harness I mean all this all the the day-to-day -day important stuff that I always use so I, keep my harness in there got my rope wrenches um, pulley saver lanyard a bunch of carabiners secretaries handsaw um, you know uh, hitch climber pulleys foot ascenders all that kind of stuff and then finally you got the main box at the bottom so you got the handle that slides up and down I actually put this um, this little pulley that I wasn't really using for anything and that is now for making it easier to feed my ropes back in and also to collapse, collapse the zigzag when I'm pulling the rope out. So this is just like a bottomless pit. I've got, so what's that? I've got a 200 foot Petzl flow line in there. I've got a 150 foot of Samson Silver Ivy and I've got another 100 foot of Yale Hedera 11.7 and then I also keep all I keep three throw cubes on top of here as well so I've got um, I don't always keep these same three ropes in here but I always make sure I've got a few ropes and I usually have an access line in here I have um, the the rope that I most often use for either both moving rope and stationary rope. So at the moment, this silver ivy, absolutely loving it. Um, so I always have that. And then I have my short 100 foot rope. And th these things are absolutely bomb proof. They're so hard wearing, so durable. They've got the, they've got, you know, handles on the outside, you, like these handles they're just so easy to move around so like I say this unit is perfect move this around and because it's got such big wheels on here compared to like a bunch of other of these similar toolboxes on the market you can actually get upstairs pretty easy with these um, which that was the one um, worry that I had is that if if ever it come came to going upstairs to get into somebody's yard or something it would be a pain in the ass but 
these you can pull up some pretty steep stairs um, so I was quite impressed with that but if it's really steep or if it's like impossible to wheel it somewhere and you need to like lift it then the beauty of these are the fact that so the top two which are this pretty the small two they come off and you can they've got handles so you can use it like a briefcase the the second biggest one also has the handle so you can you can carry all your gear um, just like that and they're so durable and you know with with the my daily gear in here and all the accessories in here a lot of the time you don't even need to take this one so you can leave that behind but if you do need it or you think you might need it take both pretty easy and then you got this one um, it's got handles on the side so you can pop that down and then pick that up it's obviously not like super easy to be carrying it like this for, for far too long but um, but it's easy and then when it comes to lunchtime got a perfect little seat for you know having your lunch and having a rest you know getting your energy back um, and then you've got either two more seats or one tall seat or whatever you want so this is my climbing gear situation and um, I think I've used these for maybe six months maybe a bit longer now and I bought a second set for all my rigging gear um, and it just keeps everything organized this if if you have the space on your truck to take this unit with you I would just like if, if you can get one of these you will never ever regret it um, you you won't you almost won't need any like many more rope bags you might need one extra if you want if you like to I don't know to have a, an additional rope bag to take around or whatever but because you can get like three ropes in there like I have you don't you don't need another rope bag this is everything you would need you could I like I've got way too much gear in this unit um, you don't even need like so that the fourth one with a clear top was actually uh, an additional purchase the the three were sold as a pack on the offer the the fourth one was um, an additional purchase so you don't even need to buy that one there's so much room to store all your gear um, I've just accumulated so much gear over time that and it's pretty much all in all in here um, especially well all the stuff that I know that I might use at some point so um, yeah so uh, the Milwaukee pack out I would highly highly recommend it thanks for watching um, put your comments below as, as usual and maybe suggestions on what you use and why you like it um, and and any comments on the stuff that I've recommended um, if you don't agree with some stuff let me know uh, if you think like obviously everything that I have here that I've spoken about is all the, the bags that I have have and I use there's obviously many many more bags on the market that I haven't included here but that's because I can't go and I can't afford to go and buy every gear bag on the market and test it out for a few years so these I've all got a good handle on how good they are and how durable they are and all that kind of stuff so thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video